I've kind of been like on this self-help shit. Like I've been seeing all this shit over YouTube and shit. And a lot of people like probably know who this is, but Hamza, have you heard of him? Hamza? I don't think I have. He's like this new self-help, or he's not new. He's actually been doing this for a while. Like I'm going to give him all his credit. You know what I'm saying? But uh, he's like newly like blown up type shit. And uh, he's like all over and shit. And I clicked on one of his videos, started watching. And like, Basically, what he's preaching is, to like, ter- towards men is to, like, better themselves, you know what I mean? Fucking work out, you can get all good sleep, all that. All that helpful self-help shit, you know what I mean? But he teaches it to you more, like, raw or whatever. And he mentions a lot, like, bro, quit smoking weed, this and this and that, quit smoking weed. And a lot of, like, self-help people, they'll mention, like, Dude, I quit weed, this and this and that. I weed know. is bad. I, I have heard that. I have heard that. Yeah, and so that so you already know where I'm going with this. Oh yeah. Basically, I think um I think it's a load of bullshit. Cause like, bro, like I, I get what they're saying. Weed is not for everyone. This yeah. is this is this is the message that I want to throw out there. I want to correct all of these people that are out here saying that, oh, I quit weed and I've been so much more productive and da 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 da. Like, dude, if you are not productive already and you start smoking weed, I'm just going to let you know you're never going to get shit done because, well, first of all, you never were productive in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just, you weren't doing what you, you need to be. You weren't being on your shit. And, like, quitting weed, I... I can see the benefits. I'm not going to say like, oh, it's like, you know what I mean? It, I could see the benefits. Maybe you'll be a little quicker. You'll have less memory loss because like, bro, we'd be forgetting shit all the time, Great all game. the time. So like, yeah, you'll probably, you will improve no, fa- or no fact about it. You know what I mean? But it's not going to be something like, it's not just going to turn your whole life around. Like that's how these people are depicting it basically. Like, weed was dragging them down. Like, I, I don't think weed was dragging them down. I think it was just them at that point in time was dragging them down, and maybe the weed just enhanced it. You know what I'm saying? Because weed is it's different for everybody. You know, you can use a hammer and hit yourself in the face, or you can use a hammer and fucking hit a nail into some wood and build a house. Weed is a tool you can if used correctly, you know. It, it can fucking benefit your life heavily. It, depression and anxiety included. Not used correctly. And I mean, it. You know, you're hitting yourself in the face with a fucking hammer. Every single fucking time, dude. And that's the thing. A lot of people don't realize, like. Whenever people say that shit. Think of fucking Snoop Dogg. This man literally does fucking everything, bro. Bro, he's my inspiration to smoking weed, bro. He's literally my inspiration for weed, too. Anytime I do the one, any of those one gram dab, two gram dabs, or whatever, three gram, four gram, five gram, six gram, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Any of them. I'd be thinking of Snoop. I'm like, man, you know what I'm saying? I feel you, bro. I feel you. I'd be thinking about just like whenever um, I'm smoking in general and getting shit done. Like, bro, I'm like, damn, bro. I'm like a couple steps closer to being like Snoop. Snoop rich as fuck, and he be doing everything. He's hella. He does everything. He does everything. And he's active too, bro. He's active as fuck. Very fit. He's active as fuck. So like. Do boxing and shit. Basically. Boys got me that. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna branch out to all that. There's a lot of other fucking stoners out there that get shit fucking done, bro. And they've made it while still being fucking high, <clears throat> being high. So I, I hate whenever people, like, bash weed. You know what I mean? Like, they're like, oh, fuck, you know what I mean? Once I quit weed, man, that shit changed my life. Like, bro, no. No, weed didn't change your life. You fucking changed your life, you lazy fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it it's it's just, it's literally just... It's like, we be doing everything high. So, bro, like, we, be we doing can't everything. be lazy high because we're always high. Some people will, will smoke a fucking joint or hit a dab, and they won't be able to do a single thing, bro. Like, I feel like Max is a great example. The homie Max, I mean, if you guys seen the videos, because he works a lot, he doesn't have as much time to smoke. Um, even though Kyron be working a lot, he still finds his holes and 
times to get high throughout the days. Where Max is, it's more like long, long hours type shit. Like he's working like from morning to evening type shit, and and like weekends too type shit. Rarely off days, but so when he does get high, he just completely passes out, and that's why I feel like for for some people. It, um, for some people, it can make you fucking lazy as shit, but that's just because of you. It's not the weed, you know what I'm saying? Because, like you're saying, people like Snoop, people like Wiz, people, name any rapper, rapper smoke weed, you got, yeah, you got actors, you got fucking Joe Rogan, you got, um... Uh, Everybody in California. A lot of people. Everybody. A lot of people smoke fucking weed. A lot of successful people smoke weed. So it's like, I don't think weed has anything to do with anything, like getting anything done. It's just like, is like, because every person is different. It's like, you, you can either learn how to fucking use that shit to your advantage, or you can use that shit to fucking put you to sleep. Whatever, whatever, you know, strokes for different folks, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look, all I would say, man, is just know your limits, too. That's another thing. Because, like, for instance, no, like, bro, you can smoke a fuck ton and still be cool. If I try to smoke what this dude smokes, it's going to put me the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? It's going to put me out every single time. It'll put me out. But, um, it, oh, my bad. If, um, God damn, I was fine. But, <laughs> If, uh, I just, I, I usually just smoke enough to, uh, get me there, you know what I mean? Not to, like, where I'm fucked up, you know what I mean? Unless it's for a video. Sometimes I get super fucked up for the video, and you guys can see that shit. Usually the video ends very shortly, because I'm just fucking gone. I don't know, I kind of enjoy testing my limits. Seeing how much I weed, know. weed I can smoke. <laughs> Yeah, it's fucking insane. Dude. It's insane. Like and subscribe. We're that <laughs> coming soon. Oh yeah. But yeah, it it definitely varies from person to person. Weed isn't for everyone, and I feel like a lot of people forget that. And they also have this big platform, and they keep pushing that weed is bad. And I don't know, man. I I don't like that. You know, because weed's not bad. It's just like the whole fucking gun situation it's it's in the beholder it's the beholder at the end of the day bro they should add a class at school where every student is required to smoke weed but the teacher teaches you how to like manage the high and be productive so that way every human being in, the, in america uses weed and smokes weed but they know how to manage the high and still be productive so that way, everyone's a stoner, so we're all fucking vibing high as shit, but we're all still getting shit done, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. And I know, I, bro, I know a lot of fucking people that get high, but they get shit done. That would probably be my favorite class at school. Yeah. The weed class. That shit would be a wit. You know what I mean? But yeah, that was sort of a little lighter addition to a heavy topic. But, um, yeah. I, um... I totally, I totally get what you're saying. I feel like, yeah, to wrap it up, I mean, yeah, everyone's different. That shit does not, the the weed is not the problem. Just like, like you were saying, the guns isn't the problem. The weed is not the problem. It's the people. 